it's heartbreaking not being able to have your kid at home. I'm still grieving. Never gets easy. Louise's baby boy was taken from her shortly after he was born, five years ago. He was put into care and then adopted. She was told she wouldn't cope with motherhood and the resources which might have helped her had been cut. If they given me the mother and baby unit, I would have known if I could parent and if I couldn't, then I would have given my son up and I would have stopped fighting. Um, but I didn't get that chance to show that, you know, if I can parent or not, I just wasn't given that chance to prove it. The decision was taken out of your hands? Yeah, from day one. Stories like Louise's are becoming increasingly common. A new study has found growing numbers of British children are being forced into adoption because of austerity. More than a hundred social workers were interviewed. Almost every single one of them brought up the issue of budget cuts. We all need to be worried about this because, um, I mean, that's a, a more general comment about the, the fate of local authority services um, across the board. Um, so I think we, we all, as a society, need to be, to be concerned about that and to be concerned about the long-term impact of uh, some of these short, relatively short-term savings. The UK has the highest adoption rate of any European country. In England and Wales, a child is referred to social services every 49 seconds. As austerity bites, one in four children are now living in poverty. And cuts have led to a shortage of children's social workers. There was a vacancy gap of almost 13% in 2016. Support services like SureStart are being cut as well, with spending almost halved since 2010. And there's a fear the system is failing on the other side of this process too. With less help available for the parents who are doing the adopting, it's thought a growing number of children are being returned from their new families back into care. Of course, in many cases, adoption is transforming children's lives for the better. The government insists the Adoption Support Fund is giving thousands of families the help they need. How do you think that consultation went? Do you think that was all right? These days, Louise volunteers with a help group, talking to adoptive parents and campaigning for a better system. She knows it won't help her, but she hopes it might stop others from suffering the same pain. Martin Geisler, News at 10, Huddersfield.